Let's start with question number 9. So it says if sum of first 7 terms of an AP is 49, that means in this case it is given that A7 is 49 and 17 term that of 17 terms is 289. That means S17 in this case is 289. We need to find Sn in this case because it says sum of first n terms. So we need to find Sn in this case. So let's simplify the other half of S7. So S7 can be written as n over 2 that is 7 over 2 twice of a. So a is unknown to us. Then n minus 1 that is 7 minus 1 d. d is unknown again to us. So it is equal to 49. So let's simplify this equation. So 2 will go here and 7 will go here using cross multiplication. So we have 2a plus 7, 60 because 7 minus 1 is 6. So I will simplify it as 60 in bracket 49 times 2 over 7. So we can cut down this. So 7 into 2 is 14. So 2a plus 60 equals 40. So this is the first equation. Now moving on to the next one S17. So S17 can be written as 17 over 2 2a plus 17 minus 1 which is equal to 16d is equal to 289. So now let's simplify this. 2, 2 will come over here and 17 will come over here. So 2a plus 16d equals 289 times 2 over 17 and 17 can be cut down with 289 with 17 so 17 times 2 is 34 so 2a plus 16d is equal to 34 this is the second equation the first one is 2a plus 16 equals 40 and another one is 2a plus 16d equals now let's simplify these two equations and eliminate a from here 2a plus 60 equals 40. So a value can be cut down and 16d minus 60 will be 10d and 34 take away 14 is 20. So d in this case is 20 over 2 10 which is equal to 2. That means D in this case is 2. So let's solve for the right. We need to find Sn in this case. So we should have A as well. So putting the value of D, 1D in equation number 1. So I would be using this equation. So 2A plus 16 times 2 is 32 equals 34. That means 2A equals 34 minus 32 will be 2. So A in this case is 1. That means D is D is 2, A is 1. Now we need to find Sn. So let's find Sn. <laughs> Sn is equal to n over 2, 2 A. A in this case is 1 n is unknown to us and we need to keep it as n n only so d is 2 so n by 2 then 2 2 n minus 2 so 2 would be cancelled out with 2 so we are left with n over 2 times 2 n so n over 2 times 2 n so 2 and 2 will get cancelled out so the last answer is n square. That means sum of n terms of this AP is equal to n square. That's all.